So today I received this great looking box and um, it's really cool. It's not what is inside, but um, I just think that's cool. Mr. Hobby Car. So let me show you what was inside. I scored these off of uh, Yahoo Auctions Japan. So I just completed the Mitsubishi Galant, that 132 scale by RDE, and um, I've already shown this. This is a neat little kit, also in the same series as the Owners Club 132 scale. Now, this is their 124 scale, and these kits, of course, are a little bit better detailed because they're larger. And also, they um, they have decals. So let's open this up. This is a 1970 Benz C111. Now this car is like um, it was a prototype car that never made it to production. And this, I I think probably that um, the DeLorean. Um, you know, it got, got its inspiration from this car. This is just really awesome looking. And uh, I've, I've watched some videos on YouTube. And apparently this is... This car was really advanced for its time. Let's take a look inside. This I was just really excited to get this. Now, the parts here are wrapped up in a bag. I can uh, I can take these out. So let's open this up. Okay. So now here's the clear parts, and unfortunately, it's got some minor scuffing. I'll have to take care of that. But uh, other than that, they, it's pretty nice looking, I guess. But, um, these are really thick, though, but I don't know. I don't know what to think about those. So let's take this out. This appears to be the underside of the kit. And the interior. Like, here are the, uh, here are the seats. This is so cool looking. And here's like the underside of the front of the car. That's really cool. And the car body, this is like stapled to the box. Interestingly enough, this is the body. Beautiful. And it's got the the doors that flip up. And there's a there's a word for that, but I I, I, I can't think of what it is. That is just so awesome looking, isn't it? That is so cool. So I'll need to uh, do maybe a little bit of filing. It's not totally even, but uh, yeah, it's got a bit of flash. This is an older kit. Um, so the um, uh, RDE's um, their Owners Club series, the 132 scale, are actually uh, from molds that they had purchased from a company called LS, and LS was part of the uh, the, the 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 model boom. Um, they were involved with like uh, anime kits and such, and um, I, I think they had also kind of teamed up with uh, Imai and and I do own one LS kit. This is a Southern Cross flash clapper. So yeah, LS. So, already had uh, obtained these molds. I, I I know that it was the 132 scale was from LS. I I assume that it's the same for these uh, uh, the 124 scale kits as well. But uh, so these are older models, so consequently there's going to be a little bit more flash. But uh, there we go. And here are the decals. So it says Benz on there. 
and actually the license plate it's got like this really long license plate and it says uh, Mercedes Benz C111 and um, you know that's cool I guess it's just kind of like you know engraved like that but what I might do is just um, file it flat and maybe make my own license plate so uh, the front wheels actually can turn back and forth so that's really cool that is a detail that uh, the 132 scale car did not so this this is the this is really science fictiony looking it's really cool looking I think and I think I might build this up as like uh, some sort of like a future um, future car or something rather it's just really cool looking this is just fantastic and it looks like it's from like a, a 70's science fiction movie or a spy movie or something really freaking cool so I'll carefully put things away later the tires here are Goodyear tires and it's got a little axle here so no poly caps though so I don't know how, how well the, if it'll, it's going to spin or not but these are pretty neat um, nicely detailed tires I'll just show you the next car this is a 1978 Nissan Fairlady 280Z Again, this is also stapled to the box. Mm. And this actually has what the chassis underneath here as well. Oh, interesting. Kind of stuck together. So uh, fairly nice. It's got some flash there, and also here. Just have to file that flat. There's a, yeah, it's okay looking, I guess. I don't know why this is kind of broken like that. It's kind of weird. Got some flash on here too. I don't know what's going on with that. It's got some chrome parts here. I'll probably, hmm, I'll probably soak them in Coca-Cola and. Uh, get the chrome off and then do my own chrome because this is pretty it's it's pretty uh, plastic toy ish so yeah it's a little bit too uh, too gaudy looking so what I would do is uh, soak it in coca-cola and uh, paint it gloss black and uh, go over with some some alclad chrome And see, it would be nice if they had the clear parts wrapped, you know, in, in a separate plastic bag. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, I might need to work on this a little bit, to clear it up a little bit. Um, so here's the front, the, the the front headlights. There's considerable flash on here, and the back tail lights. And uh, that's really cool. So. Lady Z, and I saw the decals just now. So it's you know whatever, Fair Lady Z, and I don't know what this is about. I don't know what that is. Is that a? Uh, I don't know what that's about. What that number three is. But um, yeah, I can do your license plate like that. But I would probably just do my own custom license plate. So here's the, the dashboard and such. And the interior is oh no. Oh no. I don't like that. It's um I don't know why, but the yeah, I don't know, is this supposed to be motorized or something? I don't know why it's like that. That's kinda dumb. Huh. The seats don't go all the way down. Hmm. 
I did not notice that until just now. So it looks like the tires also move independently. So I don't know why, but the seats look kind of stupid that way. Oh well. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed with that. But hopefully the rest of the car looks, you know, will look pretty nice put together. So what I want to do is paint this up with uh, red, white, and blue. And um, get a 38 right here. Uh, and on the front. And maybe an Autobot symbol and make this into a smoke screen from the Transformers. I think that would be pretty awesome. Now, smoke screen is a 79 Fair Lady Z, and this is a 78. Um, the other noticeable difference is that this is, does not have a spoiler like smoke screen does. But, you know, I don't care. I think it's. I'll just paint it up like that, anyways. Um, that would be pretty cool. So, there you have it. These are my, my, my two new RE 124 scale owner's club acquisitions. I got these for a pretty decent price. Don't know when I'm going to get started on these, but man, I think that uh, Benz is just begging to be built first. So, I don't know what's going on here. I don't like that. Unless you're going to cut that off or something. I don't know. Sunroof? doesn't seem to... I don't know, that's weird. I might have to just smooth that down or something. Okay, I gotta figure it out. This is for a sunroof, as I was suspecting. See this here? If you look on it from the underside, it's really obvious. So what you would do is just to cut that out carefully. And if you want to do a sunroof, you can use these two clear parts here. So, that's what that's for. Looking at the tires, I don't want to take out the bag, but yeah, this is uh, these are Goodyear tires. It's really cool. And it's got poly caps here, so and a little axle rod here, so the tires will spin. That's really neat. So anyhow, thanks for watching. Goodbye.